Hello, everyone. Welcome back to this captain's interview here on the Intermission Show. Matt Hoffler alongside the captains of the NAHL Generals, including top prospect Brent Kiefer. And Keith, before we dive into the last set against New Jersey, congratulations. How's it feel to be into the top prospect series? Uh, thank you. And yes, it uh, feels really good to be in top prospects. But I uh, first and foremost, I gotta thank my teammates. I wouldn't be there without uh, getting those free and easy points by them. And you mentioned points. Point maximization this past weekend against the Titans. Great series for you guys. Overtime victory and then a 3-1 victory the next day. Keith, start with you. Walk me through that. Oh, yeah. It's definitely a rivalry between the Titans because we definitely have uh, about three or four guys who uh, at one point played for the Titans. So it definitely means more going into the weekend, especially uh, getting them uh, on a away game for sure because they have a decent atmosphere for fans. So it was nice going into game one with the win and then uh, being consistent that second game, which usually we have a problem with sometimes. But uh, we uh, played well against them, for sure. Uh, yeah, I mean, it, it was a special weekend, for sure. Um, you know, going down there, it's always a, a little bit different for me. And, you know, it, it's a little bit more personal every time I play them. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm super proud of our team. And, you know, I felt for the first time all year, we, we really played a full 60 minutes back to back. And, um, you know, the results showed and, uh, you know, I'm really proud of this group and, and the effort that we showed this weekend. Yeah, like Fox said, uh, you know, anytime we come away with four points, that's awesome. And there's a huge rivalry between us and Jersey uh, and obviously having a few guys that uh, played there in the past. And, uh, you know, everybody bought in. Uh, and I think that was the biggest thing. And, uh, yeah, we just got – we got contributions from everybody. And that was huge. Yeah, just adding on what they said, I felt like this weekend, both games, everyone played their best game. Everyone played a full 60 minutes, and it showed if we keep playing that way, we can easily beat the top team and any other team in this division if we keep playing the way we did this past weekend. Yeah, sweeping the top team in the division, New Jersey. And looking at the standings, I know you guys don't focus a whole lot on that because every single game is its own entity, no matter who you play. But currently in a playoff spot, and it's a tight race between four to one. And basically with only divisional play from this point on out, how does that impact heading into the final couple of months of the year? Keith, we'll start with you. Oh, yeah, for sure. It definitely impacts us because every game matters at this point, at least – well, two points every weekend at the bare minimum. And uh, we definitely got to go into this weekend uh, not standing too high just because we swept the best team in the division for sure. And uh, last time we played Danbury, we beat him the first game and probably got a little too cocky the second game. And uh, we got killed. So we got to take that into uh, account for uh, Saturday and Sunday. Yeah, it's a tight race, uh, as it always is. And, uh, I mean, like Keith said, just every single game matters. Um, it doesn't matter who we're playing. Um, what place they are in the standings. Uh, our goal is to come away with two points every night. Um, yeah, standings are tight. Obviously, we don't want to worry about that too much. We just worry about every game, one game at a time. Hopefully, every night just end up with two points. Uh, yeah, I mean, as you guys said, you know, we every night, you know, we're playing a good team, and, you know, we can't take any game for granted. And, um, you know, we got to bring our full energy and compete every night. Um, so yeah, right now, you know, we're doing our job. We're in, we're in that top four. Uh, we still got a little, little bit of work to do. We got to string some more wins together and, you know, kind of carry this momentum that we have right now. And, uh, I think we'll be good, uh, heading into the, the second half of the season. And you have Danbury again this weekend, a team you've seen five, five times, excuse me, over the past few weeks, a three, two split during those combined games, uh, Danbury opposite end of New Jersey in terms of standings. But like I said, Every team, every game have to treat it the same way. But when you've seen a team five times, I know sort of at a similar environment with Maine last year, but haven't really had that situation where you've seen a team for the sixth and seventh time in the same month of the year. How does that change your approach heading into this weekend? Uh, yeah, it's, we're in a little bit of a unique situation. You know, we've, as you said, we've played them, um, you know, our, the past couple of games in a row. So, uh, obviously, you know, we're real familiar to their style and, you know, how they want to play. And uh, we got a little bit of bad blood with them. So, um, you know, it's going to be another dog fight this weekend. And, um, you know, we're going to come away with four points. Yeah, I mean, like Box said, there's there's a lot of bad blood there. And uh, it kind of creates like a playoff atmosphere. And 
guys are very competitive and, uh, you know, I, I expect it to be another hard battle again this weekend. So we got to come ready to play. Um, yeah, I don't think we should change our play style at all. I mean, we've been playing pretty well. I've been playing against them five times in one month and then coming up on six and seven. I don't think we're really going to change our game plan against them. It's just on how are we going to do to play in our own game against them. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely adding on to all three of those guys. Uh, we don't really need to change our game at all with how we played uh, last weekend. We just got to keep being consistent, keep a level head, and uh, take that into account for uh, these two games this weekend. And two games this weekend. Let's get into the X's and O's. What's it going to take to get six and seven? Keith? Oh, uh, yeah, definitely a simple game. The Denver is not nearly as skilled as uh, Jersey, but they're definitely a hardworking team, so it's going to be – Whoever works the hardest in these uh, two games, so we don't really need to be uh, fancy and all that stuff. We just need to get dump and chase going and uh, try and burn their deep. Yeah, I just feel like if we play the same way we did this past week against Jersey, play a full 60, everyone's going hard, lines are being rotated through, and everyone's giving it their all. I feel like we're good. getting four points this weekend. Yeah, like Minnie said, we want to build off last weekend and continue to elevate our game and improve on things. Um, and just do the same things that we had success with. Um, and with Danbury, they're a physical, hardworking team. So really, I think it comes down to like the challenges, uh, the face-offs, puck battles, puck races, those kind of things. Uh, we got to come out with the puck in those situations. Uh, yeah, I mean, it's going to be another track meet this weekend. Um, you know, usually anytime we play Danbury, it's a lot of odd man rushes up and down the ice. So um, we're going to have to use our speed well and, you know, uh, be super physical all weekend and kind of wear, wear their D down and, you know, take advantage of every opportunity that we get to score. Awesome, guys. Danbury, Northeast, two games this weekend in a tight race in the East Division. Matt Sossler alongside the captains of the NAHL Generals. Guys, thank you so much for joining me here today. Thanks, Thanks Matty.